Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Jasmine. If you guys aren't new here, welcome back. So in today's video, this build actually took me like three hours. It is currently like one o'clock in the morning. Actually, I'll tell you the exact time. It is 1.24 in the morning. Um, I started this build at like nine ten o'clock so it's been a couple hours and I was gonna film the whole thing but the problem is I don't know how when I whenever I'm editing my sims videos I don't know how to um, do the time lapse where every like the whole build goes faster and I wasn't about to make this like a three-part journey or a four-part journey so I just decided to build it get finished with it and then show you when I was done so we are going to go over this barn dominium build that I did I literally just looked up barn dominium uh, blueprints on Google and I got a picture screenshot on my phone and then I kinda added my own flair to it I think it looks pretty nice I think it came out really really nice um, but yeah, I'm going to basically show you guys what I did. So in each, uh, each one of the corners of the plot, I put like these big magnolia, um, trees. And then I also put evergreens around them or vice versa. I don't know if I seem to like not know what I'm talking about. It's because like I said, it's like almost day near two o'clock in the morning. Um, I did go ahead and line the front with shrubs over the, um, simple white gate all the way around the entire um area i gave it a simple white um like picket fence gate right here i also put the sand right here um basically you go over to landscape and then you just pick out which um dirt you want this is what i did and then you could like erase the lines if you mess up or anything like that um, but I also had these mega lanterns put down because I thought it added a nice addition for the walkway. Um, I put the mailbox right here and then I also did like a mixture. First I laid down four shrubs on each side and then in between I did different types of flowers and such. I did not line the sides of the house because like I said, I'm already tired from doing this build and it took me a minute, so I'll do that later. But I did put like a variation of uh, flowers slash grass um, and little grass plots in between. And like, I don't know, I just thought it was pretty. And then I put these nice benches out front to make it look nice and rustic. I did end up putting these poles because I was trying to follow the blueprint um, as like... Basically, I was trying to mirror it as possible, like, as possibly that I could. Yeah, like I said, I can't speak right now. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I was trying to replicate it as best, to, like, to my ability. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so, yeah, I did end up putting these poles so it holds the structure up. I went with a metal roof because, you know, Barndos, they usually have a metal roof. I did a slate gray color. Um, it's a little bit lighter than slate gray, and for some reason I could not, um, add any, um, siding to this portion of the roof. It wouldn't let me for some reason, so I just left it. Um, I think it looks fine like that. Honestly, you can't even tell far away. Um, but now you can tell because obviously I told you, but like I said, it's for me to play with my sims on so it's all good um i did add a chimney because i have i think one or two fireplaces inside the barndo and i added these beautiful daisies outside i think it gives it a nice color accent and i love this little planter like wagon wheel type deal table it is so cute i lined the whole entire um house with all these massive windows i will show you guys right now and i just did white siding for the whole entire thing i think it looks nice and simple but it gives off rustic um for the back obviously i did the poles all the way around but i did knock two out in the back because i need to put this nice little patio um table the barbecue grill and then also the fireplace i feel like i'm going to do more with this area just not right now um here is the back door and when i made this roof it was four different parts so i did a big gabled roof right here i did half on each side and then i did a gabled roof right here and i just turned it basically um so the outer part is facing facing forward and then I just added a window because that's exactly how it looked in the blueprint that I looked up 
and I did a wraparound porch all the way around. Now I did not change my gates or w like like any of that. I literally kept it the white picket fence and I just added this gate right here, the front one. Um, so yeah. Oh, and then I also added these little lanterns. I think they look so freaking cute. And this is my front door. Let me go ahead and do that for you. And I added a welcome mat. Um, this is a two bedroom. No, this is a three bedroom, three bath. Um, so it's for a girl and then two boys and then obviously the adults, the couple. So we are going to start off with the kids room first. Um, for the girls room, I wanted to do a lilac slash lavender moment. And this is the components that I put in there. I Oh, and also, if I sound stuffy, it's because I've been having a major allergy attack. Not that y'all care, but um, I don't want you guys thinking it's like my mic or anything. I literally have the mic up to my mouth. It's just my allergies are acting up, so I'm very sorry for that in advance. Um, I did add some draped uh, curtains. I put these little butterfly portraits. I think they look so uh, pretty. Um, it's for one girl, so I gave her a single bed. She has her backpack. I gave her this lavender little uh, floral arrangement. Um, I gave her a gaming chair. She has a laptop. She has pictures. Um, she has some CDs. Her nail polish is back here. We, we, can, we can move the nail polish up front. And then I obviously put some like teenage posters right here. This is her door. This is her shoe area. And I did do her walls lilac. I think it looks really pretty. Um, I went with this like rustic um, table for underneath her uh, TV. She has an award for something. I don't know. I just decided to put it there. And then she has this um, purple bouquet, some books. She has a bookshelf right here. Her laundry's folded. And whenever I was looking at this, I was like, that's perfect because it has some purple components in that laundry basket. Um, this uh, dresser I put right here. Um, like I said, I did draped curtains. They are white to complement the brown and the purple in here. I don't know why. I just love brown and purple together. I think they complement each other. And then I also gave her this nice rustic mirror. Um, so it's kind of modern, but kind of still country chic so I'm really glad that I kept it like that now the bathroom is where it gets more girly I did all pink tile I did a pink runner um, carpet for her um, little bath mat I gave her a pink towel her toilets right here the to toilet bowl hold not the toilet bowl but the toilet paper holders right there she has some towels and then I did give her like a lilac robe she has a light switch right here I put um, these light fixtures right here over the uh, shower she has her bath components here candles toothbrush um, the this island is actually from the kitchen section if you guys don't know that you should you guys should probably try it um, because I feel like the bath counters they're not big enough for the bathroom so I decided to use that and then I just installed a sink I gave her a vanity mirror and the uh, oh also here's her hamper and that's what her door looks like which it, I think looks really nice I like the big handle um, and her floor I think is white marble something like that I don't remember the exact name but I did give her a nice big window so that is the teenage girls room I'll just do another 360 for you guys so you guys can see oh and I also gave her a nice purple carpet I think it looks really nice and if it's very well into her room and then these are just like little like a Kleenex box and then a toy and I think this is supposed to be a light source or a speaker or a two in one something like that and then this is her restroom now we are going to go over to the twin boys or the boys who are going to be sharing a room now I initially was going to start off with this boy room as a single bedroom but then I was like these beds look pretty darn cool so one of the boys whoever moves in here is going to be a nerd so they have their books over here this side is the like like the smart bookworm side so everything is blue like every component over here is blue on his side so he has his notebooks he has a camera um he's actually trying to make his own robot function he has a blue lamp over here he has a stereo he has his dresser um a blue mirror 
his book bag and then this um, little cute poster in the middle I did not want to put like a table right here so I just ended up putting a guitar I ended up putting some more posters on this side and this side is for the twin or brother that wants to be sporty so we obviously have a baseball sheet comforter um, he has all his sports gear right here baseball um, mitt he has his baseball glove well yeah baseball mitt baseball glove same thing he has his baseball bat, he has his shin guards, he has a tennis racket, he has basketball. He also has his own book bag. I did not find an orange one, so I went with red. And then he has his own mirror. Um, I put a sporting uh, poster right there. And then he just wants to basically be messy because boys are messy. So I ended up putting a pile of clothes right here, which takes up a tile or two. And I found this really cool bat, which I love. He has cowboy boots. He has his gym shoes, which I absolutely love. I just put a neutral color, which is white, fan in their room. And then I gave them to TV. And then on top of this dresser chest is basically like their TV stand. It has Kleenex boxes and just scattered books. So this is the boys' room. I'm just going to do like a quick 360 for you guys so you guys can see. And I did do all wood flooring um, in the house unless it was a bathroom or the kitchen. Everything is wood. So that is the boys' um, bedroom, and now this is the boys' restroom. So like I said, boys, they're messy. They really don't care about color scheme. So I just gave them an all-brown uh, cabinet situation. I gave them a nice green sink, which I love. I don't know what is going on with me and green lately, but I really love the color green at the moment, but red will still forever be my favorite color. But green is really, I, I don't know. I just, I'm fascinated with the color green at the moment. Um, and then I gave them, obviously, a toilet. I gave them the overhead lights, um, just like the girl. Um, and then also I gave them a shower. The runner is just neutral. It's just, like, a gray slash white color. And then they always they have the same bathroom door as the girls. Um, I gave this the boys, like, a stand-up mirror um, because why not and then I also gave one twin slash brother um, a red robe and then the other one a blue they got their own set of towels so one gets the red one gets the blue and they have cologne right here on the counter and toothbrushes and obviously the soap dispenser and that is the boys restroom and it is half um, paint half uh, tile for the wallpaper and for the floor is I think marble the same as a girl is just a different shade so that is the boys room now we are going to head on into the living room now the living room is nice and simple honestly I didn't want to clutter it too much because the rooms are already jam-packed with all this fun stuff so I wanted to keep the family room nice and simple um, I did give the two big windows in the front drapes I put this little jacket holder and there's also a jacket holder right here with a scarf um, I put a set of shoe racks right here so one for women one for men um, I gave them a runner right here in the front I think it looks better up close to the door I love the door I don't know what it is but I love this door I put the light switch right here I love, I love the color of the door, especially. Um, so there's a lot of brown going on in this house. So I wanted to throw in some white in there to make it not look so small. Um, obviously, because we did the floor very, very dark. It's not super dark. Like, it's not, like, black, the floor. But it is pretty darn dark. Um, what I mean by that is if we go over here and we go to wood, there is a black flooring like it's almost black um i didn't want to do that because i thought it would make the room look super super small so i just went with this nice um barn brown if you will and then i thought these look like deer antlers so i thought that was pretty darn cool and i put a little um truck like an old ford slash uh chevy truck on the display of the tv stand i gave them the hugest tv that i could find and I really love how I added the white couches. I was going to go with brown, but it was too much brown. 
I needed to lighten up the room a little bit more. So I went with two large mega white couches and I will show you exactly the couches that I did. Let me find it for you. So I did the un Unabash the Unabash sofa in white. I did this one right here and I did two longs and then I did the matching recliner also and I think it looks pretty darn cool. Um, I did this um, octagonal moment for the living room uh, what's it called table and I did a floral display of sunflowers on top of that. I think it looks really nice and I gave it um, a light flooring underneath. I didn't want to put a white floor because white gets dirty. I know it's not an IRL but I think it looks nice underneath the tones that I have. Um, and then there's a puppy like a puppy right here. So yeah this is a family room. Um, it's nice simple spacious very open and yeah so now we're going to go over here now this little nook and cranny i didn't know what to put over here so what we got going on right now is a fireplace um i really did want a fireplace in the family room but i had to um either choose the big tv or the fireplace with the small tv so i chose to put the fireplace over here because i need to put something over here anyways so this little nook and cranny i'm going to do something to it i just don't know what else to add to it um, maybe a mirror or something. I have no idea, but I just know I need to add something like to both sides, if that makes sense. Like something has to give, something has to be right here. And I don't know what shall be on both sides, but we're going to figure it out. In the meantime, this is what we got. So I did the dark fireplace, and this is what the cheaper version of the fireplace. There's two other ones, like for 1200 and 2K. Um, but this is what I got, and then I put these little planters, and I obviously um, turned this one the opposite direction, so it looks nice. Um, and even, and then I put a chicken because obviously this is a barn dough. Um, so we're going to go over here to the office. Now, both of my Sims, uh, the couple that's going to live in here, we have the Jacksons, that's their last name. They're going to be living in this house and they are freelancers, so they're going to be always working on the computer. So I had the space left over and I decided that it's a perfect fit because they are going to be on the computer all the time. So I might as well just turn this into an office space. So this wallpaper is actually called um, the barn, the barn something. It has barn in it. And I decided to turn the desk inwards. I think it I think it looks nice because I didn't want it to be straight like this. I feel like that's boring. I've done that before and I just, no. As long as they can walk and they have some space to get to their chairs, I think it adds a nice touch to the office. I did give them a flat screen TV. Oh, I have three fireplaces. Um, I also gave them these bookshelves because obviously it's an office, so why not? Um, I gave them matching computers, matching desks, matching chairs and then also the matching lamps as well and then now we are going to go over to probably my favorite room don't get me wrong when I was doing the kids room I thought it was I was doing pretty darn well for if I do say so myself but I think this one is just so simplistic and it just screams out country barn like country barn and southern living i love this this is a master bedroom so we did like a lighter pine for the floor and then we did a all white wood um situation over here on the um walls now i don't know why the back wall is like that let me fix that for you guys let me fix that for you guys because that that is not giving whatsoever it's called Barnyard Beauty. That is what it's called. Okay, now that looks better. So that is what this wallpaper is called. And then it's the same wallpaper in the office, just a different shade. So like I was saying, I think this is probably my favorite room in the entire house. I gave um, the bed like a nice rustic bed. Well, I gave this room a nice rust rustic bed, and I, I actually think it's called Rustic Something. Rustic Dream Bed. There you go. And I got it in the shade, this one, with the 
<laughs> with the sunflowers and it was a perfect addition because I saw these and I was like that looks so pretty in the room and obviously in Sims 4 you can't intersect things so I couldn't put a light fixture right here so I put a fan right here and then their light source is going to be coming from the huge windows and then also from the stand up uh, the standing light and then from these little um, cowbell lights so that's where the light fixtures are going to be coming from well the lights going to be coming from and then I gave them a nice rustic mirror in the middle and I did do drapes on um, all the windows in this room but these are just like slide open slide out um, drapes and then these ones are actually being draped over like at a curve so I think that adds like a nice touch to the room and I did end up putting a like couch situation in here I thought it looks nice I mean I don't know if you guys don't like it you guys don't like it but that's your own opinion I have my own um, but like I said when you're building this or if you're trying to build a concept of this it's it does not have to be my my color scheme you guys do what you want design what you want how you feel you put it there if you like it then put it there if you don't take it out and sell it you guys do whatever color scheme or whatever floats your boat okay I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing um, but I ended up did like I ended up giving them a TV also in their room and I gave them this nice milk paint um, chest like I have in the girls room but this one's a little bit taller now um, there's this open space right here and I don't like I didn't know what to put in this area so I'm probably just going to leave it there for now but like for sure I'm going to put something there so it can have like more like a closed area space um, but yeah this is probably like my favorite room I just love the yellow tones with the pine and um, the sunflowers it's just giving all that like country energy that I need um, we are going to go over to the restroom now the restroom was kind of finicky for me so I did end it up see guys I can't talk it's almost two o'clock in the morning I cannot talk um, I ended up giving them like it's not exactly rustic but it's like I don't know what you would call this I just thought the colors match really well um, so it's basically simple there's a lot of gold tones um, this is obviously the wife's robe this is the men's robe and then they have their own towels um, like I said for the other restrooms I just use kitchen islands um, for the sinks and then I installed the sinks myself I uh, grabbed the mirrors and then I gave her side and then his side and then obviously their toothbrushes are in the middle he has cologne he has his body wash over here he has his own soap dispenser and so does she and the um, rugs are just simple runners it's nothing so serious I think this is actually the same color rug that I have in the boys restroom so I mean neutral goes with anything so why not and then I actually gave them a stone floor if I do remember it is called antique stone tile and that I thought looked pretty darn cool in here and I gave them a modern toilet with the toilet paper holder the shower caddy on the side now this restroom is the only restroom that has excuse me um, this restroom is the only one in the whole house that has a bathtub with a shower so I decided to make like do it up a little bit and I did give it like a little rug underneath which I thought was really cool I don't know why I didn't like pull it out like sooner than that but that looks nicer than what it does underneath um, and then can you guys hear me getting stuffed up I sound like Squidward um, and then I also gave them like a champagne bottle I thought that looked really classy and I gave them this little side table deal um, but I thought it looked nice and then I also gave them the shower right next to it because you guys know the showers are finicky especially like with the corners or if there's like something in the intersecting way it's not going to let you install it anywhere um, but yeah and then this is a matching towel for the woman and he has his own over here but that is ex that is basically what um, hold on let me move something around really quick 
Okay, that looks better. Um, that is basically what I did to this barn dough, and I am pretty darn happy with it. I think it looks really nice. Oh, and let me show you guys the back side. So let me go up. Like I said, the roof was very finicky in the beginning whenever I was messing around with it because I was trying to get these to get covered, but for some reason it was just not meshing well. So I had to leave them out like that, but I think it looks perfectly fine. Um, but I love these totem poles that I put all the way around, like these support beams. They're all the, all, all the way around the house and I really enjoy them. Um, there is the barbecue grill right here for whoever's throwing down on the grill. There's a fireplace and there is a small patio right here. Um, oh, and then also the kitchen. How could I forget the kitchen? What is wrong with me, Jasmine? What What is wrong with you, Jasmine? Why did you forget the kitchen? This, I think, is like a really nice open space. If I could just... There we go. I think this is a beautiful space. Um, I love the slate gray blues that are in this kitchen. Um, but this is white marble. Like I said, the kitchen and the restrooms have tile and mar like marble. Um, they're the only places in the whole entire house that don't have wood. Um, you guys obviously see in the family room, there's wood, but as soon as it hits over here in the kitchen, there is, um, zero wood. It's all marble. And then this is a actually a carpet, which I absolutely love. And I felt like if I made the kitchen white, it would just be boring. If I made it yellow, it would be too warm, right? And the room is already warm enough, like, with the yellows. Um, so I decided to go with, like, s slate gray. And, like, this rug was just perfect because it had, like, that warm under, like, undertone of yellow. Um, also with the blues. And I found this. And this is actually a bathroom um, wallpaper. It's, like, with the tile. And I think it looks really nice in the kitchen i i think it looks nice and then i found these dark navy blue um halo lights and i just think it's stunning honestly and i will walk you through the kitchen so i found this bag of money and i was like yeah yeah this couple's like they're hustlers for sure like it's like a whole freaking bag of money it looks like a freaking lv speedy with just like 50k in there let me stop i am tired <laughs> um but i thought that was cool it could like represent the woman's like bag in the sims and then i got this little dessert dish and i thought it was really nice and then i did an island at first initially the sink was over here in the island but i was like that looks weird because the oven i don't know the oven needs to be with the sink like they need to be kind of next to each other. So I just ended up doing that. And then I put three bar stools and I just basically turned, uh, turned inside out these, um, these Island pieces. There's six of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I just turned them inside out and yeah, they're basically like back to back to back. And then, um, I gave like some little kitchen accents. Like there's a portrait of like breads and pears these nice little dish plate racks i don't know if you've seen it but a lot of older people have these because they're collectible so i thought that was pretty cool to put in the house um this is the only thing that's like out of place but it does recycle your trash for your sims and it gives you ten dollars every time so i thought that was pretty neat and i love the sink it's like i don't know it's like I can't explain what the sink is like, but I like the texture. Do you guys see the texture in the sink? It looks cool. So that's why I picked it. And I also love these little knobs. I don't know what they're called, but they're pretty darn unique. And I had to add this knife holder. I think it looks really nice. This pot, this pot rack I'm obsessed with. I want one so bad. Whenever um, I get my own house in the future, the pot rack, I don't know, there's just something about it. It's just, I just love how it looks in a country style home. Obviously, we have the fire alarm and then we have these two grand windows. You cannot go a day without coffee. I mean, you can't. You need caffeine. If I don't have caffeine, I'm either cranky or I'm going to be just like 
not feeling myself like at all I'm not going to feel like myself for the rest of the day so they obviously had to have a coffee maker um, this is the spatulas and the mixing spoons little holder right here um, oh this is what the um, oven looks like up close it has like an oven drawer and then the actual oven itself it's a little the little knobs are up here and then I think it's supposed to be a gas stove because it has those little like grill plates on top and then we have a microwave and then we have the refrigerator um here's the back door i felt like i needed to put a carpet right there for some reason but i don't know what carpet to put there so let's just go ahead and pick one out right now okay that could work or take this one out No, that looks pink. Why does that look pink for? That's not big enough. Okay, you know what? We're just going to leave it. We're not going to mess with it because I don't want to get aggravated. So we're not. Just, we're just going to leave it. Um, but this is, this is the back door. And obviously it doesn't have the handles like the other doors in the house. But I thought it was a nice glass uh, window pane door to put for a back door. And then you know like how in the kitchen you you guys have like on the refrigerators like notes to remind like yourself about something or you have a dentist appointment or like little sticky notes i thought this was a good concept because obviously you can't put this on the refrigerator so basically it's like a bulletin board for the kids or like anything else that um you need to keep track of or need to be reminded of um but yeah this is the whole entire barn dough it took me three plus hours oh and also the chimney um, but I am super obsessed with it, and honestly, I just, I, I love it. Like, let me be a sim right now, and let me just move into it, and I would be so freaking happy. Um, but I'm just going to do a 360 view of the whole entire thing. And we are in Twin Oracle Point because I felt like the landscape was a little bit better than Bargain Bend. I know Bargain Bend, um has smaller plots but i felt like this barn dough needed to be um bigger and spacious for the whole entire family and i love how there's like these big old evergreens in the corners that i put and then there's these smaller magnolia trees to like kind of like cozy up next to it but that is the video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what i did with my barn dough um basically my barn dominium and people actually build houses like this and I just find it so, so pretty and I don't know, like this is a dream house for me. I don't know if it is for you, but this is my dream style home. Um, let me know if you guys want me to build more barndos and let me try to figure out how to do the speed, like the time lapse, because I think that would be nice. But yeah, this would have been like at least like a three to four hour long video and then i would have to cut it up it's just it's just so much i was like i'm already halfway through there's let me just finish this up and just basically explain what i did um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching 